other thing I've been looking forward to all day, chatting with our insider, yeah. Elliot Friedman. Board of Governors meeting, and all of us love the game of hockey and want to see it back. We really want to see it back once it's safe and once everybody's ready. What did you hear about today's action? There were two big uh, conference calls today scheduled, one with the Board of Governors and one with the Executive Board of the uh, NHLPA. That's the uh, 31 individual team reps, Tony. And it doesn't sound like there was anything that was particularly overwhelming in terms of news. Um, it goes back to what we talked about over the last couple of, couple of days ago when I was on, and that is that I think the next two weeks are going to be critical. I think the NHL and the NHLPA are talking much more than they're letting everybody on about, and I think they're really grinding away to try to sort out uh, what can be done to start the season as early as possible. The January 1st target date remains in place from the NHL. I do think the players want to get going too. I mean, they're creatures of habit. They're used to this. But there are some things that have to get worked out uh, between now and then before it can happen. So I don't think there was anything groundbreaking or earth-shattering. The, the actual words I got was that there was nothing, you know, material that was said here about the schedules. There's no news about uh, how many games it's going to be or when it's going to start but I, I think everybody realizes we're kind of in like a, a big negotiation period between now and u.s thanksgiving so Elliot, we were hoping maybe for some concrete news something tangible to take out of here with whether it's dates or games or whatever it might be so that didn't happen did any other new ideas creep into the conversation about things that might be included in next year's season whenever it starts well, one of the things I do think they're talking about, Mike, and I'm starting to hear more chatter about it, is the possibility of, you know, where can you go that's unique and interesting outdoors? And there was a, sto there was a story that was confirmed uh, that in Canada they looked at Lake Louise, but that's a federal park and there's limits on the kind of signage and advertising you can put on it, so that was taken away. But... I think that they are thinking about the possibility of ideas like that. or some, Maybe it's some of the places we've already seen, like football and baseball stadiums and playing a couple of games outdoors. And maybe there will be some, or maybe there will be something scenic and different where you can take a game outdoors. Now, I don't know if we're talking about fans or no fans, but I, I've had her, I have heard more in the last few days that they are looking at the possibility of some TV-friendly events that would add something different and unique to the calendar. Oh, like we like that Here idea. we come. Let's yeah. go. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> that would be great. I'm not a player agent nor a coach's agent, but I think I could do a pretty good job for Travis Green. 2015, mm -hmm. last time the Canucks made the playoffs. This year in the postseason, they got to the second round. The qualifying round won the first round. He's got to get an extension, right? I think he will get an extension. Um, you know, the Vancouver Canucks have spoken to him briefly about it. Um, I, it didn't go anywhere in terms of getting a deal done. Uh, I, I think that, you know, the Canucks, if you, if you take a look at the way they've been, I don't know, frugal is the right word, but they've been careful. And I don't think that means they don't want Travis Green there, but the world has kind of changed, and I think that's thrown kind of everything on its ear. Um, I do think they will work hard at getting an extension done. I do think they want him to be their coach. He's done a good job there. You look at their young franchise players. He uses them. He uses them a lot. I know from speaking to him that he has a good relationship with the general manager there, Jim Benning. I, I just think that, you know, the Canucks – uh, to this point, don't have the term or maybe even the dollars that Green wants. So you, you got to hammer it out and see where you go. But I would expect that they'll work on this as next season unfolds. Uh, I do believe they want him to be their head coach for a significant amount of time. Elliot said the magic words, term and dollars. That's what we all want. <laughs> uh, Dougie Hamilton, one of the best defense in the league, a Norris Trophy candidate before he was hurt last year. Is he talking about extension with Carolina and what kind of those terms and dollars might that take? Not yet. Don Waddell was quoted about it today. And, you know, I, I don't I don't think he's lying or not telling the truth. I, I don't think the talks have really seriously begun. Uh, I think they will at some point. Um, you know, one thing we're seeing, like some players have been squeezed in this market. There's no question about it. Forwards in particular have been squeezed in this market. But, you know, as some people have said to me, if you want to pay someone, the proof has been shown in some of these recent signings, that you can pay someone. You got the numbers up there right now. You put up those kinds of statistics as a defenseman in the National Hockey League. 
and you get paid. So Hamilton's going to be looking for a bit. Now, the one thing I do think is that he likes it in Carolina. Mm -hmm. It hasn't always been easy for him in Boston and, and Calgary. I think he likes it in Carolina. There's something to be said for that. I think he's the kind of guy that's built for a certain kind of market. I think Carolina is perfect for him. But, you know, you got to make the deal. And uh, it's going to be a big deal with those big numbers he puts up. Great insights, as always, El I was going to call him Elvis, but that's Elvis. not his name. <laughs> he has not left the building yet. No. <laughs> I'm leaving the Thanks building so right much. now. Well yeah, done. Take care, guys.